Welcome everybody to today's uh, WSI seminar. Thank you all for joining. Um, today's talk will be uh, a little bit shorter. We have to be off uh, a, little, a minute or two before one o'clock. So we're gonna just jump right into it. Um, as always, please put your questions into the chat. Please put your name in the chat when you enter into the, into the room. Uh, we're very fortunate today to have uh, Mr. Louis Lopez to give the seminar. Uh, Louis is the director of STEM within the Office of the Secretary of Defense Research Engineering. So he oversees uh, STEM projects, DOD writ large, um, everything from kindergarten all the way through graduate STEM programs. Uh, Louis has a very interesting background. He was uh, a Marine Corps, uh, uh, he was in the Marine Corps. Uh, he taught in computer science at the university level. Um, and he's got a bachelor's in math mathematics and a master's degree in uh, education. So we're very, very fortunate to have Louis here uh, today. And with that, I will I'll hand it over to Louis. Uh, thank you, uh, Scott, for that kind introduction. And uh, excited to be a uh, part of your uh, uh, Beaverworks uh, Summer Institute program uh, this year. And uh, uh, to the team for allowing me uh, some time to address you and, and, and give you a little bit of uh, background of what we do here and what we offer uh, under DOD STEM. So I would like to thank, uh, again, uh, MIT Lincoln Labs, the BWSI uh, program, and I, I'm sorry if I missed anyone, but Bob, Jen, uh, David, Lisa, Joe, and, and Scott for all that they do to make this opportunity possible uh, uh, for you. As, uh, as Scott mentioned, you know, um, uh, uh, I, I served a few years in the Marine Corps and, and uh, um, uh, part of those years, I, I completed my my bachelor's in in, in mathematics, and and uh, I got drawn into education. And just a little bit of a, a personal note: the the last thing that I wanted to be involved in actually was in education. Uh, my dad is a, is a retired uh, physics and engineering teacher. Uh, my mom taught a little bit uh, English language arts. Um, uh, um, so the last thing that I wanted to be involved in was uh, in education, but. But anyway, I got uh, drawn into STEM programming and, and also teaching uh, and lecturing a little bit at, at the university level. And um, when the opportunity uh, came to, uh, to work for the Department of Defense, uh, I thought it was such a great fit uh, because uh, I get to do what I love doing as well as continue to serve uh, my country. So with that, uh, why is the Department of Defense uh, invested in the nation's uh, uh, future STEM talent? Well, for starters, uh, if, you, if you are not aware, uh, the Department of Defense has about 60 defense laboratories and engineering centers throughout the country, spanning over 200 locations and some internationally. We have uh, about uh, nearly 300,000 STEM professionals, and that could range from uh, 70,000 scientists and engineers that actually do uh, research and engineering at any one of our uh, labs uh, and centers. And uh, even some of these uh, scientists and engineers also once participated in STEM programs as high school students, much like what you're doing now. So I commend you for your continued interest in um, in, in STEM uh, disciplines, and I hope that you continue to pursue that at the post-secondary level. Um, and, and I'm sure uh, uh, some of you may know that uh, DOD has such a, a vast portfolio when it comes to uh, research, uh, development, engineering, uh, so much so that, uh, you know, uh, if uh, I'm sure a lot of you have smart uh, uh, cell phones, if you talk about any of the technologies uh, um, in a smart cell phone, whether it's uh, GPS, internet, um, uh, voice recognition, touchscreen, flexible display, digital camera, virtual recognition, at some point, uh, DOD was involved in, in, in uh, the research of those uh, uh, technologies. So again, DOD uh, STEM's mission is to uh, inspire, cultivate, and develop exceptional talent uh, through a continuum of opportunities across the K through 20 uh, uh, educational uh, pipeline because we want to be able to attract uh, uh, students into, um, into these careers because they are very much critical in ensuring uh, the defense of our nation. 
Okay, so again, DOD STEM is inclusive of all uh, activities across the K through 20. Uh, we do have some activities in the K through 12 as well as, uh, and, and a lot of our activities actually are, are at the post-secondary level uh, in the form of internships, uh, scholarships, and, and fellowships. And most, if not all of our uh, internships are paid. And this just gives you an illustration of the different types of pro uh, 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 programs uh, across the department. Uh, some of them could be enrichment programs like, like a summer, uh, 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 summer program, like what you're uh, participating now with uh, BWSI. Some of them are, are, are competitions um, or uh, like FIRST Robotics or competitions that the services host. I think some of you may have uh, come across um, uh, the Junior Science and Humanities Symposium, which is an Army, Navy, Air Force high school research competition where uh, it provides scholarship awards to students who placed in any of the eight STEM uh, categories. I think first place is around uh, 14 to 16,000. Second place is about eight to 9,000 and third place is about four to 5,000. And then as I mentioned, uh, internships and scholarship at the high school all the way up to uh, uh, a PhD. Uh, I, I wanna uh, touch up briefly on this Naval Horizons because it's currently ongoing and uh, the deadline for this is next Friday. And uh, it, this is an opportunity for high school students. Uh, Navy has actually uh, put on a, a, a pretty good uh, initiative where they have all these different videos talking about the different um, modernization technologies that are important to the Navy and to the nation. Some of them, you know, cyber, uh, high-speed networks, biotechnology, just to name a few. And we're asking high school students to view uh, these uh, videos and then write, uh, write an essay uh, and submit by the deadline and you could earn up to $200 uh, stipend. So I do hope that you all uh, take advantage of that. And by the way, for the Naval Horizons, they're planning to award as many as 5,000 uh, uh, stipends for that uh, opportunity. So for this one, I, I do wanna uh, spend a, a few minutes here because I believe some of these, uh, or if not all of these are applicable to you as you uh, go on uh, um, uh, uh, beyond uh, high school. Um, so these are our sample of our uh, STEM, work, uh, STEM workforce initiatives and, they, and these are internships and scholarships and so on. One of them is a DOD uh, science mathematics and research for transformation or smart scholarship. I'll talk about that just a little bit. I won't read through all of these different example uh, programs, but for the most part, these programs provide educational stipends. You get mentorship from a DOD scientist or engineer at the lab or engineering facility that hosts uh, uh, interns and, and fellows and, and apprentices. You get a work experience training. Uh, you also get to network with some of the scientists and engineers that are doing some amazing uh, research uh, in, in various uh, STEM topics. And I believe uh, this is a, a gateway to a future job and career, especially uh, 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 for, uh, for those of you who have interest in pursuing uh, STEM at the post-secondary level. In any given year, uh, DOD has probably more than 2,000 uh, uh, interns, high school, undergraduate, masters, and PhD across all of our, um, across most of our labs and engineering centers and at our partner uh, universities. So these are just some of the example uh, uh, programs here listed. I do wanna mention briefly towards the end, uh, we also uh, partnered with the Barry Goldwater uh, Scholarship Program uh, that is available for uh, sophomores and juniors uh, uh, pursuing uh, STEM degrees uh, with an emphasis in research. Uh, so I believe you're eligible to apply right after your, uh, your freshman year in, in college. Okay, so we'll spend a couple of minutes on the SMART scholarship because this is one of the largest uh, scholarship for service program here at the Department of Defense. And, and really uh, this is uh, geared to uh, attract uh, students, uh, 
in STEM, uh, in STEM uh, fields into our labs and centers. Um, and uh, the, the benefits, uh, it's highly competitive, but the benefits are, are, are great. Students pursuing um, bachelor's, master's, and PhD could apply for the SMART scholarship. Your full tuition is paid. You get book and health allowance. You get a summer internship at the host sponsoring facility, which for the most part are, um, are our defense lab or engineering center. And you also get an annual stipend. Uh, that annual stipend is uh, uh, distributed across the 12 months, but the total annually is anywhere from uh, 23,000 to uh, 38,000. Uh, you get to experience uh, being mentored by a DOD uh, scientist or engineer mentor. And well, the catch here, of course, is that there's a one for one requirement. So for every one year that you've received the scholarship award, um, you do have a service commitment to uh, work at that sponsoring facility for the same number of years. So as a civilian scientist and engineer. So, the way that I usually say this to, uh, to the folks and to the students that I present this program, guys, you get all your college expenses paid at the college of your choice. And at the end of it, you have a guaranteed job placement. And uh, so anyway, that's, that's what the SMART uh, scholarship is. Uh, again, uh, since inception of this program, we've awarded probably over 3,300 uh, uh, scholarships um, uh, since around 2006. And uh, this just gives you a, a, a snapshot and additional uh, information. Uh, any one of the 21 STEM disciplines, uh, you can look it up in the, in, the, in the program website. We've received applications from as many as uh, um, um, uh, um, I, I, from students from as many as uh, 411 universities across the country and about 190 DOD sponsoring laboratories and uh, um, uh, engineering centers and other facilities across the 40 states have hosted uh, smart scholars. Okay, so where do you find all of uh, uh, these opportunities across the DOD, uh, across the Department of Defense? On our program website, and this is a snapshot of our homepage, if you go to, if you click on that participate and explore opportunities, I believe that's what it says, um, you can actually search by grade level, by the type of activity, uh, and so on and, um, in that uh, search feature. And it'll give you many options that will then take you to specific program uh, uh, website. Okay, so this is our last chart. Uh, um, hope you follow us on any one of these uh, social media uh, for our program. We do um, in, um, provide as many uh, announcements through our uh, um uh, various uh, social media platforms. So hopefully I've, I've left enough um, time for uh, for me to be able to answer some of your questions. Hey, Lou, that was great. We had uh, a lot of students asking if they get a copy of those slides so that they could uh, use the links and, and be able to find out how to get to uh, different websites. So I think it was it was excellent. Definitely hit a chord. Uh, Lynn, Lynn Wang, I wonder if you could uh, unmute and ask your question. Um, so thank you so much for providing us with such insightful information and advice today. I will certainly investigate into more of these opportunities and I'm sure like a lot of my peers will do the same. So I just want to um, ask, could you speak a bit more about internships and industry experience opportunities that are offered by DOD STEM exclusively for high schoolers like us? And also just what general experience uh, advice do you have for us high schoolers? So I would say for internships as well as, uh, as scholarships, um, I, I would say to one, because most of these applications require letters of recommendation from your, um, uh, from one of your teachers or, or, or faculty at the undergraduate uh, to, to establish uh, uh, those relationships uh, uh, early. Um, Across the department, our internships are, 
are decentralized. And what do I mean by that? It's executed down at either the service level, Army, Navy, Air Force, or some of our fourth estate agency, like Missile Defense Agency, National Security Agency. So sometimes they have uh, uh, specific requirements when it comes to uh, eligibility. Um, for our scholarship, there's a U.S. citizen uh, uh, eligibility. I think for the most part, our internships have um, U.S. citizen uh, um, eligibility because of uh, uh, access into our labs and, and engineering centers. But, but certainly uh, when it comes to these types of applications, uh, uh, or opportunities, uh, uh, the, the selection will look at, you know, how, what's your uh, affinity towards uh, 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 future in STEM? You know, what, what, what do you want to look at as far as contributing to uh, 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 technology development, the future, what, you know, uh, things like that. So hopefully that answers your, your question then. I definitely answered a lot of it and I'll, certainly keep track of all of these notes while I'm applying. So thank you. Uh, the Sita? Sita, I'm sorry if I pronounced the name. It's good, Ishida. Um, my question is, and thank you so much for talking to us all of the opportunities you talked about were super inspiring. And I'm just like really amazed that the DOD is taking care of like American education from like all the way since kindergarten. That's really cool. My question is, what is your advice to us high school students if we get these internships? How do we best take advantage of the resources and the mentorship provided? Uh, uh. Thank you, Isida, and I think someone else also also asked uh, something uh, similar. Um, when you it, when you do get selected to this opportunity, network as as much as you can with the scientists and engineers that you'll encounter at the lab or center or or the facility that 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 you're at, and and you know um, don't just take a, a, a one and done. A, a, approach. I think we, we encourage our, our, uh, our interns, you know, if one year you get accepted to the Army, one of the Army labs to do an internship, see what the Navy or the Air Force, another DOD, or even our industry partners have to offer on a particular topic of interest that you have, whether that's biotechnology, I know, cyber, computer science, you know, uh, any, any one of the engineering uh, disciplines. Yeah, thank you so much for those insights. I'll definitely keep it in mind when I'm applying for these things. I want to take, a, take into account the fact you were trying to get out a little bit before uh, one o'clock. So I was actually going to call on Anna and Aiden. If you guys could unmute and potentially do your. Uh... Okay. Um, I wanted to thank you for this like amazing lecture and like this, like, like your phenomenal talk on like all these research opportunities and like the Naval Horizons competition, which is really, really cool. And it like would definitely, and I would definitely be interested. And like all these like scholarships, like SMART and like other DOD STEM stuff. And like, I've always been interested in like trying to get research opportunities. So like, this has really been really cool. So I'd like to say thank you. And I don't know if we're offering the t-shirt or I guess she can go and then we can offer the t-shirt. Yeah, sure. Um, thank you so much for coming to talk to us today. Uh, it means a lot that you're taking your time to do this. Um, yeah, education is like a super important topic to all of us, here, especially STEM education is our focus. Um, um, and it definitely means a lot that um, your programs are um, kind of helping students K through 20 um, just at every step of the way, um, because people are interested in STEM and all those different fields um, at, at many different ages. So we wanted to present you with a virtual t-shirt. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Aiden and, and, and Anna. I, I appreciate that. Um, I can probably answer a couple more questions uh, uh, if there are any more. Yeah, let's do uh, maybe at least one more. Uh, uh, Ozan, are you there? Can you? Uh... Yep. I am here. So you mentioned that you were a Marine and that kind of got me thinking, how has serving in the Marine Corps affected your view of technology and how has it maybe impacted your push or your views on the push for technological innovation within the Marine sector, or the military sector? 
Oh, that's that's a great question, and I, and yeah, you're right. I, this may be my last question because I have a few a few things to to talk about this. You know, um, uh, I thought I, I was a great student in 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 high school. I got accepted to a, a few universities in 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 California, and I got to tell you, the last thing on my mind was the military. It was every recruiter that called. I'm sure you guys will be getting those calls as, as a senior. I, I blew them away because I knew that um, um, I, I knew that what I was uh, planning to do, and I wasn't going into the, the the military. There are some folks in my in my family that have all uh, uh, served in in the Navy, brothers and uh, and my brother and and uncles and so on. So. But man, after after a semester of, of, of college, I, I was just burnt out. I played all uh, uh, three sports, actually four sports in, in, in high school. I was act uh, very active. Uh, you know, I, I, I also uh, uh, was a class officer uh, for, for my class. So after a semester, I was just burnt out and I said I needed to do something that's just kind of uh, completely different. Uh, I one day uh, out of the blue, I just walked into the uh, recruiter's office and I told him, "Sign me up." Uh, and I wish, in in hindsight, I wish I would have done a little bit more research about what I wanted to get into and and everything. They signed me up to be a, a, a field art, art, artillery uh, a person. So I I, I worked with um, uh, one five five millimeter howitzers. Um, now, as far as technology, you know, I while I was in service, I never really, really had thought about it. I knew that we had, we had all these kinds of equipment that was provided to us to keep us safe uh, um, when we're out in missions. Um, but I've always thought the government just kind of uh, uh, procures that from uh, from industry. I, I've never really thought that there was such a massive uh, uh, research and engineering enterprise and a civilian core within the Department of Defense that are very much involved in the development of these types of, uh, uh, of technologies. And fast forward now, you know, it's really very... Uh, um, uh, gratifying to hear some of our men and women in uniform who address uh, our, our civilian scientists and engineers and really thank them for what they do when it comes to research and development of technologies and, and, and equipment because of certain technologies that have saved them uh, when they're out in, in theater, especially with what has happened over the past two decades in uh, uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. So I hope that that answered your question, uh, Elzin. Thank you, it did. Great, Louis, it's uh, 12.55. So you're asking for, for uh, this time. So thank you, we, we hit on the, on the button. Um, there's been a lot of conversation in the chat. Um, obviously we will take a uh, screenshot of that and, uh, and send it to you so you can see all the, all the comments for all the students. But um, this is a great, great conversation, great discussion. Um, is uh, very well appreciated by, uh, by all the students. So thank you very much for doing this. I, absolutely. I would rather be with you guys and answer all these questions all day, but unfortunately I, I, I got to do my other, my other duties. So thank you all uh, for, for allowing me to, uh, to be with you uh, today and uh, best of luck to, to all of you uh, seniors. And I look forward to seeing you guys apply in some of our programs across DOD. Uh, so thanks again, Scott, uh, signing off. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank 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 you.